In a previous video, we talked about how we could find the market equilibrium by graphing the supply and demand curves and seeing where they intersect. And then our equilibrium price was the price where the quantity demanded equaled the quantity supplied. But there's another way that we can do it, and we could use mathematical equations to solve for what our market equilibrium is. So let's say we're talking about the market for chocolate bars, and I've got a demand schedule here and a supply schedule to show the amount or the quantity demanded at the different prices between one and five dollars. And so what we did before was we graphed out our supply curve, and then we graphed out our demand curve curve and we found that our equilibrium was right here which is a price of three dollars a price of three dollars and a quantity of nine dollars or a quantity of nine chocolate bars so the question is can we find that without having to to draw these graphs and forth so forth and the answer is yes so let's say that our demand instead of thinking about it as a line we could think about it as an equation that represents this line Right? And so the equation that represents the demand curve in this case would be price is equal to 18 minus the quantity demanded divided by 3. Okay, so that's this equation right here represents this line. And then our supply curve is represented by the line price is equal to the quantity supplied divided by 3. And just to show you how that's true, so take our quantity supplied, let's say it's 3, so that'd be three for Q, and then we divide that by three, that gives us one, and that's a price of one, okay? So I'm not gonna talk too much about how we derive these and stuff, maybe I'll make a different video on that, but I just wanna show you right now that we can find the equilibrium price and quantity, which again was three, nine, that was our, so our equilibrium price and our equilibrium quantity that we found using these graphs. We can find that with these equations. So what we do is we set the equations equal to each other and then we solve. So we're gonna have 18 minus Q divided by three and then we just set that equal to Q divided by three. And even though this was the quantity demanded and this is the quantity supplied, we just use a generic Q because we assume at the, at the equilibrium point, uh, the quantity supplied is going to be equal to quantity demanded, right? So what we can do is there's a number of ways you could solve this, but let's multiply each side by three, right? So if we multiply this side of the equation by three, three times Q over three is going to give us Q. And if we multiply this side of the equation by three, then that's going to have three times 18 minus Q over three. Now what's going to happen? This three will cancel out. Right, the three in the numerator and the three in the denominator, and that leaves us with 18 minus Q equal to Q. And now we can add Q to both sides. So we add Q to this side, that gives us 18. Add Q to this side, that gives us two Q. And then now we could divide each side by two. So we divide the right side by the two, that gives us Q. Divide this 18 by two, that gives us nine. So we know that our equilibrium quantity is going to be nine. But now you might say, well, what is the equilibrium price? How do we find the price? Well, what we can do is take this Q equals nine and now we can plug it back into one of our equations. So let's plug it in here to our, our supply equation. That'll be easier. So now we're gonna have, well, I'll just put, here's our P equals Q over three. And then we're gonna plug in that nine for Q. So P equals nine over three. And nine divided by three is three. So we see that at our equilibrium, which is where our demand uh, our demand equals supply, right? So we just set the equations equal to each other and solve for Q, and then we just plug Q back in. So now we see that we have an equilibrium price of $3 and an equilibrium quantity of nine. And that matches up exactly with what we found in our graph here, where we have an equilibrium price of three and then, and then an equilibrium quantity of nine. 